Dad spoils her just rotten. Rotten, rotten. And she knows it. My baby girl. My baby. What about good boy Rudy who's laying over here sleeping like a good boy, not bothering nobody? There's Passion. He's waiting all patient to get his harness on. He's the last one to walk today, but then we take him for a nice long walk because he's a really good walker. Sit down, Bastion. Can you sit down? Oh, that's a very good boy sitting down like a good boy. And there's all the doggies that have already walked in the sun out on the deck. Here's my Bastion. No, no. Get down. Come on. Walk nice. Good boy. That's a good walking boy. That's a good walking boy. Yeah. Very good. Just about home. Bastion you made it home. Yeah, and here they are all your brothers and sister are waiting to greet you, see? They're probably gonna beat you up because you were gone and they had to stay home for a while. See? They're sassy. They're all sassy. So I'm making meatloaf cups tonight with ground turkey and what I do to make him healthier for my husband and me is there's a lot of ground vegetables in it. There's mushrooms, onions, carrots, I got orange and yellow peppers in there, there's some garlic, um, you could put zucchini in there if you ground, ground zucchini but it takes the Oh, and the mushrooms takes, and all the vegetables and mushrooms take the place of the extra meat that you would use. So I'm only using six ounces of ground turkey to make all these pepper cups. And what I do is then I stick them inside these pepper rings. Stick the meat inside these pepper rings. And it is just awesome. It's like one of my husband's favorite meals. And Okay, it's folks, so here they are. All the puff peppers are all stuffed. And you can use ground chuck or ground turkey in this recipe. A little bit of salt and pepper. And here's the secret ingredients to making it really tasty. It's the chili sauce. A couple tablespoons go inside the meat mixture with the vegetables. You don't need a lot of stuff. The vegetables inside the meat flavor it up so much. And just having all them ground mushrooms in there, it takes the place of the meat. You don't even miss the meat in these. That's what's so good about them. I will make up a little glaze with a little bit of chili sauce and a little bit of light brown sugar and glaze the top of them. Oh, they're just excellent. So here's my vegetables. Cauliflower, rutabaga, and a couple carrots in there. And I will steam them and when they're done, I run them through my food processor with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little dab of chicken broth, and a couple blocks of Laughing Cow cheese to, to make it nice and creamy. And it's really awesome. If anybody wants any of these recipes that I have on here today, don't hesitate to email us or comment on it that you would like it, and we will send it to you. Okay, so I dumped everything in the food processor, and I mix up. Awesome. Cauliflower, rutabagas, and carrots all whipped together with laughing cow cheese, sea salt, pepper, a tablespoon of parma grated Parmesan cheese, and some broth. Okay, the peppers are now ready to go into the oven and they have their chili sauce with a bit of brown sugar or you can mix honey in because honey is a little more healthier for you mix honey into it and you spread it on there and it'll make a nice caramelized sauce on top of your meatloaf cup. Here's the broccoli in the steamer. That was 
good, sweetheart. Thank you very much. There you have a day of Debbie's great healthy cooking. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.